comes with spending cuts at the same time, and that includes 58 percent of independents. Is your position out of step now, Congresswoman, with the majority of the American people? If you just say to people, should we cut spending, they will probably say yes. Um, however, if you say, would you rather cut spending and reduce the deficit by cutting the tax breaks to the wealthiest corporations, uh, you know, care for veterans, etc., I guarantee you that you would have even higher numbers that say, let's make sure that but, we're making the wealthy pay their fair share. That's not and what that's, that's the other thing we've been saying to the Republicans. The poll says this is the exact question that was asked of voters. What should Congress do on the debt ceiling? Raise only if spending cut 60 percent. Raise no matter what 24 percent. Not raise let U.S. default 15 percent. These are these are what they are saying to this critical yeah, question. But- Go ahead. No, I understand. But, Poppy, you can't take tax cuts out of spending. Why have we heard so much from Kevin McCarthy and his lieutenants on this? We hear from them multiple times a day, and we've heard so little directly from the president. If you just watch television or read any newspaper or newsletter, you'll see a ton from Republicans and from some Democratic lawmakers and not so much from the White House other than memos. You've heard from the president this discussion beginning March 9th. He's been out there at least once a week on this. Uh, he held Kevin a full McCarthy's press out conference. There multiple times a day. He held, he's out yeah, there once a week. That's a He's a member of Congress, right? Members of Congress hold press conferences multiple times a day. The president has you a don't few wanna, steps you don't to walk over to the press briefing room and a number of reporters. Every you time he walks to, 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 to leave the White House, he I don't, walks by I don't the think that I don't think that would be helpful. And You're talking about the bully pulpit for critical moments. I would, would you say this is not a critical moment? Jenny Yellen said we'd be going toward economic catastrophe if we defaulted. You, I, I do think it's a critical moment, which is why you heard from the president. But you're willing to tank it if it's not? They are willing to tank it. They, no, 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 sorry. That is exactly the problem, is when the media reports this as not their fault. And I'm just going to say, I know so many of you, I have so much respect for what you do, but let's tell the truth here. We are not tanking anything. We need to stop letting Kevin McCarthy take us for fools. This is a Republican talking point that is not anchored in any reality. So, yes, I believe the president has been incredibly responsible in how he has conducted himself. Do you have regrets? Do you have regrets that your party did not raise the debt ceiling when it was in the majority? Um, it's not um, my understanding that the challenge was not addressing the debt ceiling because Democrats refused to do it. Uh, but it's my understanding that Republicans in the Senate were unwilling to discuss this issue last December, perhaps because they wanted to set up a hostage-taking situation. So it's not my fault that the Democrats today have become so extreme, so far to the socialist wing, that they are now opposed to work requirements, that they are now opposed to saving one dollar less than you spent the year before. That to me really seemed that the problem are the Democrats. This proposed rule is not a ban on gas stoves. This proposed rule is not a ban on gas stoves. We are regulating indoor air pollution. With Nancy leading the way, you never had to worry about whether the bill would pass. She said she had the votes. She had the votes every time. She had the votes so many life-changing pieces of legislation. She helped rescue the economy in the Great Depression. 